people really do care about youth input, that we really have an interesting opportunity here to share our voice and people really do want to listen. So my name is Bellamy Kramer. I'm a rising senior at Menlo Atherton High School and I'm concurrently enrolled in Kenyatta Middle College. Um, and I spent last semester as a green facilities intern at the San Mateo County Office of Education's Environmental Literacy and Sustainability Initiative. And what first inspired me to get involved in sustainability was well, first of all, I've always loved the outdoors. I really found that that was just my happy place, especially growing up in California with all the surrounding, just nature. I was always really immersed in it. And I first became seriously interested in sustainable action after taking an environmental science class at Kenyatta. And I feel like I just learned so much about the world and the way it works. And it was honestly surprising to me that it even took like this long, just taking a college course to really learn all this information. And after that, I was really compelled to continue in the field, but I didn't really know where to start. I think that once you learn all that information about what's happening with um, climate change and what's going to happen in the near future, it's just really difficult to drop that after the class ends. So I first heard about the Energized Colleges program through my professor actually. And then I applied to this particular position because it seemed like a perfect intersection between my interest in um, well, environmental science, but also government jobs and education. And I really wanted to be part of the movement to increase environmental literacy and education in K through 12 schools especially because going into this internship, obviously I'm a, I was a junior in high school. I didn't really have any practical um, experience in sustainability, but what I did know a lot about was the K through 12 schools in the San Mateo County School Districts. So I really wanted to give back in that way and also just use my experience of actually being a student in the system while also working to increase environmentalism within it. The younger generation is obviously the most susceptible to the detrimental effects of climate change. We're gonna be here the longest. We're gonna really see how this all plays out. And um, it really is our future that's at stake here. And I think that um, learning about environmentalism early is better because then it's easier to ingrain these sustainable practices and unlearn these environmentally harmful practices that are so common, because obviously it's easier to change your ways when you haven't had them for very long. And um, also something that I realized through this process was that people really do care about youth input, that we really have an interesting opportunity here to share our voice and people really do want to listen. And I thought that was surprising because it's always, you always hear like, I don't know, people don't, like you're just the kid, what do you know? But I found that it actually, people value my opinion because I am younger, which, and I think that's an interesting opportunity that everyone has to take um, control of and that, or just, oper just take <laughs> advantage of that. And um, in general, just obviously the environmental movement, it's in the hands of everyone. And it really is, as I said, our future. So it's in the hands of the youth too. You know, didn't have that much experience starting out. And I really wouldn't have been able to do this with actually a lot of people. And actually, as we talked about earlier, I worked indirectly with so many people. And I really realized that sustainability is not a solo effort in any way. It is such a team effort with so many people involved. And that's really the way to make change, which is also uh, like why we need to get more people involved. And then especially some people that really helped me were my, my Climate Corps fellow, Catherine Chen, my supervisor, Naomi Stern, and then my fellow intern, in Raj Gill. And they all helped me. Well, they gave me the opportunity, first of all, to just be on a level playing field with everyone. They didn't ever treat me like I was younger or less capable, which I really appreciated. And I just learned so much from all of them. 
And then my experience at the LC internship in general, um, what I mostly focused on was resource development so that schools could improve their environmental literacy education and like climate resilience. And my main project was creating the air quality focus area, which was especially important to me because as we are in California with the wildfires, we can really see that air quality is starting to worsen. We can already see the effects of it. So that's um, was really important. Another project that I worked on that I really enjoyed was the, this was a huge collaborative effort, but the creation of the Climate Action Plan database for all 20 jurisdictions in San Mateo County. And the purpose of that project was to first of all, just find like the city governments and the school entities into one in and just uniting them in the fight against climate change because school districts honestly do have a huge role to play with um, first of all preparing the younger generations and then just the land as well and hopefully through that project maybe eventually schools can create their own climate action plans and we can get there so yeah my main focus was resource development and as LC is a backbone institution it was just support and um so challenges and opportunities i found that the opportunities were honestly just endless i was actually very surprised about how many opportunities came from this like i went to meetings with city officials that i would never have been able to do before this internship and i went to career panels with all these people who are like experts in sustainability and it, it was like, I was like starstruck. And, and then um, another opportunity that I really enjoyed was that I was chosen to be a panelist at a green career panel for green college careers. And I shared my experience with other high schoolers as a middle college student working in environmentalism as a dual college student. And I thought, that was awesome to just share my experience. And also what was fun was that the high schoolers then asked me questions about middle college and what they could do too. And I really enjoyed that part because it was mostly, it was like connecting with my peers and just the community in general. And I found that I also really enjoy the community engagement part of it, the hands-on aspect. And that was a huge opportunity. And also just, I learned so much from it in general. And then, challenges the main one was that initially again I just didn't have that much experience I didn't there was definitely a learning curve because I was taking this information that I learned in class and then applying it practically to start working and it was kind of like I was learning and then trying to share information at the same time but I think that process of just this being my first like real internship and my first real experience in sustainability just made it all the more rewarding I really hope the work I did goes to use. I hope that schools really use the resources I created to just improve their environmental education, to improve their climate resilience, especially with air quality, which is really important, especially now with a pandemic on top of that. And I hope that they can really utilize that and that it just that it, it's helpful. And then also, I also just hope, which is why I like the community engagement part, to inspire at least a couple other people to also get involved in environmentalism. And what I found since I started this was that I was kind of, I really found that it was just a passion. So I just kind of talk about it a lot. And like <laughs> through that, I feel like I've helped my family as a whole be more sustainable. We like just, there's just so many little things you can do that we started doing because of what I learned at this internship. And um, in the community, yeah, I just, in general, I just hope that we can really improve environmental education to be as commonplace as like the core subjects and that kids as early as like elementary school can start learning about it. And especially with hands-on learning and um, also just widespread community engagement and environmentalism. I think that's definitely, as the movement like expands, that's definitely on the horizon. Well, just in what's next in my journey with environmentalism, I really just hope to continue with the community engagement and hands-on aspect. I'm actually starting a new project with Actera, 
and it's called the High School Environmental Policy Involvement Project. And the purpose of the project is to involve other youth in the area in making public comments on environmental bills, um, lobbying for environmental acts and reaching out to government officials. And through this, we're engaging more youth in environmentalism in general, and also just also um, hoping that we get some of these environmental acts passed to move the community as a whole towards um, sustainable action. And um, I'm going to be co-leading this project and we're very, very early. We're, it's mostly outreach at this point, but I'm excited to see where that project will go and what I'll learn from this as um, a climate activist as well. I was told to really get the word out there and spread it because we do need more people and really more people that are motivated and want climate action and want all this sustainable change to join this project. And I. So actually, before I took the environmental science class, I wanted to major in political science. So I did think, and what's interesting about environmental science that I found actually, or just environmentalism in general, is that it overlaps with all these different sectors. So I can kind of just combine those two interests. So right now I am mostly focusing on policy, but also in the future, I kind of also hope to do field work. I think that would be, and um, environmental justice as well. I think those are all very interesting um, sectors within the larger field. Uh, first, to uh, those who are interested in sustainable solutionary change within their own community, I would say, first of all, really just go for it in any way you can. It's awesome to get involved. It's, as I said, it's all of our planet, all of our responsibility to protect it. And you can pretty much combine any interest you already have with sustainable action and really make change in that way. And yeah, that's really what I found that... Um, climate and environmental action in general, it's not only necessary to offset the climate crisis, but it's really fulfilling, engaging and rewarding work. And that's why I really just found I as soon as I started, I was like, oh, this is something that I might want to do for like the rest of my life. So I would just recommend that anyone starts and just gets involved. in And pretty much there's all these different ways that you can get involved, especially as a high schooler, like internships, taking classes, um, even like, I don't, starting your own community garden, anything. There's, and also like what I said, when I'm trying to just adopt all these tiny little tweaks in my daily routine that are more environmentally friendly, you can do that. It's just like, you can pretty much do anything and it's better than doing nothing. To anyone doing an internship with Elsie, I would also say, give it your all. And I found that the work, well, the work is not easy and it definitely, there is a learning curve, but it's so, it's rewarding and it's very worth it in the end. And um, it was a really fantastic experience overall. And I learned so much from it and I just got so much from it. And I would recommend that anyone else They'll well, not even recommend. I just think that anyone else who does the internship with Elsie would agree with me.